Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm trying to get used to short curly hair for those of you who are new. And if you are not new, you know why I'm <laughs> very, um, maybe self-conscious about my short hair and I had to do it curly. So if you don't know why, go back and watch my hair video. Today though, I have an Ikea haul. Yesterday we went to Ikea as a family for the first time well, as a family for the first time in years, but it was our first shopping event as a family since quarantine began, and we haven't all gone shopping like that in a really long time, so it was really fun. So if you wanna check out us kind of shopping at, at Ikea and kind of having fun throughout the day, you can go and check out that video. I'll have a playlist down below with all those videos as well as an iCard with the Ikea video. I love going to Ikea, and I have waited all quarantine to be able to go I had a shopping cart ready to go online, but I could not get a click and pick up time. So suddenly the stores opened up here in Seattle and we were, we, we moved everything aside to be able to go to Ikea. So I'm gonna show you some of the things, that, all the things that we got. Abby has already installed the shelving unit that she got. I will show you her shelf in her bedroom that she's already set up. There's one more we need in her bathroom, which is why we bought them but we don't have a bracket for it. We didn't get a third bracket because we ended up cutting the shelf, which is an Ikea hack. If you don't, if they can't, don't fit the space. After we do the haul portion of this Ikea video, I always kind of like to show, like the shelf, how we use the items in the house. And I've got um, my Ikea, I'm not, I can't, won't be able to show it to you now because I need to set it up. But I got the Alex drawers on the caster wheels. I'm gonna put that in my office. So we're gonna kinda do a little office clean out and I'll show you how we install drawers in my office as well as some of the other things that I got. So stick around to the end because I wanna show you a few things at the end um, how we kinda use this kind of stuff. So let me just show you really quick the rest of the things that we got at Ikea. When I got home from Ikea yesterday, I ended up having to leave right away to take my daughter to go to get shoes and my husband Jason put everything away. <laughs> so I had to get everything back out. So some of the things like the chocolate bunnies, these were on sale because they're Easter leftovers, so they were 50 cents. Um, they got eaten. So I can't even show you <laughs> the chocolate bunny. It looks like that though. It was really yummy according to my kids. We always get these little horse gummies. They did not have Swedish fish and Jason was kind of in withdrawal. I don't know why they didn't have them. Don't know what the deal is. So we did not get the Swedish fish. So just got two bags of these horse gummies. Um, like I said, some of them have already been opened and eaten. Then I am going to replace all, most of the towels that are in my kitchen and put them in the scrub towel bucket for washing cars and washing outdoor furniture and that kind of stuff, or even bathrooms. Um, so I just got new towels. I think I only got four of them. Uh, I just got, they're 79 cents, so it's really not that big a deal to replace the other ones, because this is all I usually have in the first place is the ones from Ikea. And then, like I said, everything has been undone, including forks. So it's a little anticlimactic to show you. It's not in the packaging or anything. We don't know how, well we do know. We're all home during quarantine. We're using a lot of utensils. And we needed an extra round of forks to get us to dinner time. Because if we all eat for, use forks for lunch time, but the dishwasher isn't quite full, we can't start the dishwasher, then we don't have forks for dinner time. So we needed kind of a second round of utensils. Then I got, some plates. Now I got, I have the large ones of these. These are just the small little ones. I have the large ones and I just don't like having to use the large ones if all I'm having is a bagel or the kids are having a bagel or a piece of toast. There's no use in having a huge plate and that takes up more room in the dishwasher. So yeah, I got eight of these. Then I also got bowl plates. I got six of these ones. I like, for lunch I like to have like a fruit, an orange and strawberries and a yogurt or a cottage cheese to go with my fruit. So I like to have a side to my dish and I have plastic ones right now that just need to get thrown away. Then we realized when we did one of the, our little quiet, peaceful protest march with our kids for Black Lives Matter, it was probably about a week and a half ago, we realized we didn't have any tea lights. We had used up all of these. 
So I use these around the house all the time, winter and summer, spring and fall. I actually have all the little wooden and, and metal houses that are on this bookcase here, as well as a few around the house. And I usually end up, especially during the winter I guess, I end up putting these candles in those because I like to have candles glowing and the houses glowing. When I have get togethers, I have girls that will come over for craft nights or book club or activities and I just like to have my home feel warm and cozy and tea lights are a good way to do that. Plus it's a good emergency supply to have on hand in case the power goes out which has happened almost every winter here for us for the past couple years. And then I got, those ones are just plain, there's no scent to them, but my older daughters wanted to have ones for their bedroom, so they got them a vanilla flavored one, scented one, and I got this one, and it is, I don't know if they even have an, a name on it, some kind of a tropical, if anyone knows, you can leave a comment below what this fruit is. Is that a passion fruit? I just know it smells really good. So I got three of these, I think they were $3.99, so that's a better price than Target, the size at Target, is either eight or ten dollars that is a better deal at ikea then next i got kind of wish i had gotten more of these i got new cutting mats for the kitchen i love these ones because they're the ones i have now are bright green and bright red and they just i usually end up having cut oranges and apples and cucumbers and carrots on the you know we usually cut those throughout the day and then i stack these after they get rinsed off behind the kitchen sink and that just looks ugly to have a big red and bright green mat sitting there. So I like that it's one of them is gray and this is like my favorite color and I have things like this in the kitchen so it doesn't stand out as much and it kind of fits in with the decor in the kitchen, if you will. Maybe I'm weird like that, but if it's gonna be out and having to dry, I would like it to look a little bit nicer. So these ones are only $1.99 and then the last thing that I got, aside from my Alex drawers, which I will put together here in just a second, um, are some organizers to go in the drawers. These are really big, but I, and only one of them will fit in the drawer, but I just needed to be able to put, not just pens and pencils, but I wanna do one with one drawer with all my camera equipment, my batteries, my charging cord, my external charger, and external SD cards and that kind of stuff, um, but also have a slot for other stuff. They just fit really good in the Alex drawer, so I got two of those. If I don't end up using both of them in the drawers, then I can put one in the kitchen. I'm gonna clean this stuff up, and then we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you really quick the mess that's, you're not gonna clean with me, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like now. I'll clean it up, set up this desk drawer unit, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do with that and with these drawer organizers as well as a few other things that I've been buying on Amazon to kind of decorate my office with. So, let's go do that. I forgot, I was cleaning up here and I have a cleaning brush. We have one in the kitchen that I got from Grove Collaborative online, but it doesn't get into the nooks and crannies of my bottles, in the rounded portions of my bottle. Like, I use jars, mason jars for my cups. I'm, I'm weird like that. But I, it doesn't, my brush doesn't get into the corners. So for, I think this is 50 cents. I should have gotten more of these. But this is a good one because they have good sturdy bristles and it'll get into all my corners. So let's go in the office and let me show you the mess that is in the closet. It is the messiest we've had it in easily six months. All of quarantine is the messiest it's been. It's ridiculous. All right, we're here in my office. I'll explain some of the messes here in a second, but look how many messes. There are this corner. This is end of homeschool time. That is a disaster. We have projects that we worked on. It is still cold. I have my laminator out. That was what was over here. Chelsea had her project that she was finishing up for school. Look at her cute little characters. She had to make a game based on the book Number of the Stars. I've got their laptop, so we gotta turn in in four days. It's just kind of an overall mess. There's crap all over the floor. So we're gonna get this area cleaned up. This is Jason's desk area that he no longer needs. So the desk itself, the drawers itself, are gonna go right under here. So I'm gonna kinda go through some of this stuff under here to see if I can put it in the drawers. Otherwise, I'm gonna kinda shove things over and organize it a little bit better. But first, I've gotta go get a daughter. She's gotta do a Zoom call for school. So I'm gonna go grab her really quick. 
we're gonna put together the desk and, or the drawers and clean up this office space and then we'll put it back together. All right, you guys, I have been working on this for five plus hours, but I wanted to show you what it looked like. I'm glad I didn't film any of it because I would have gotten way too long. So I just want to show you how it all turned out. I love it. All right, so I just wanted to first show you the clean office. I did that first and then we put together the desk drawers. So I got all of that cleaned up. The heat is about to come, so the AC unit is still going to stay there. And I sorted through every single crayon, colored pencil, gel pen, marker that we own. And I'm going to donate all the excess. And then this is all the extra markers and extra colored pencils they take when they travel or go in the car. And then I've got a little jar here with, with marker or uh, glue, erasers, and uh, pencil sharpeners and Ashley's daily reading books here as long as well as like some workbooks for her. She's in first grade in case you're new. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail. I've done um, a tour of my room before so I just wanted to show you this drawer that we got fully put together today. My daughter Abby helped me out. She's 12 and I also got a new mouse pad to go into my office. The other one was pretty gross. As you can see I like the coral sea blue turquoise colors. So then I've got the drawers underneath the little table here. If you haven't seen our other Ikea hack video, I will link it in the iCard right here. This is not the normal size of an Ikea desk. And so we had to cut it down. And actually I had to take out the legs. They're supposed to be right here. So I have a fake little <laughs> prop up for right now. What we're gonna actually do is just bracket these two together, this desk and this desk, to connect them together from underneath because I had to take the legs out in order to fit the desk drawers underneath. But you can't see that book when you're kind of standing back and so for right now it's okay. And then look how cute. I also got some contact paper. It's not contact paper, it's just a drawer liner because it just can come up. But I love the coral color and I don't want to damage the drawer base right there. So, and I don't want things to slide around when I push and open the drawers. This is the little organizer that I got from Ikea. Just put a few little office supplies in here. These are my batteries for my camera that I'm holding, SD cards. This is my phone charging if, in case, if I switch adapters. Um, and then the second drawer has my laptop, again, with the liner in it so it doesn't slide back and forth. Then I have all my rulers and cutting mats, and this is for my silhouette machine. Finally have a drawer for those. In this drawer, I just have some copy paper. I probably will put some notebooks or something in there. In here, this is what I wanted. I wanted a, a drawer just for my camera supplies. These are external power sources. This is our GoPro. This is my travel electronic cases when we go traveling. That's the case for my camera that I'm holding, as well as a travel case for the camera that I'm holding and um, an external hard drive. I've always wanted a place for all that stuff. This drawer here just has some coloring pages for the kids, as well as some knickknacks that I haven't, I haven't gotten my two youngest daughters buckets like my two oldest daughter I have right there. I just need to get a separate bucket to put their memorabilia in. So overall, I love my desk. I've always loved my little corner here. There's the candle that I got from Ikea, my notebooks, my pens. Everything kind of has a place now. I've always like gravitated to want to reach for this area right here to put things and so it's the perfect little spot to put my drawers. And I can also pull it out or I put the caster wheels on it in case I need an extra surface for any project or whatever, I can pull that out and use that as well. I appreciate you joining me today and I hope you come back for more. Go ahead and subscribe. Click on the like button if you like this kind of stuff. And the comments below if your Ikeas are open up, opening up wherever you are. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time. Bye.